Hi, so this video is going to show you five tips to improve your English conversation and I wonder whilst the video is on if you can actually spot the entry level three to level one vocabulary that I use. So welcome to the video about conversation and let's begin with hi or hello so yes you do need to know the difference between formal and informal language when you're actually looking at your English situation and if you're studying entry level three to level one you need to know that the different situations the context of your conversation is how you'll know the difference between formal and informal so could you attend a conversation class so when I use the word court this is all about talking about something that can happen and if you live in Doncaster this is a good time to think about do I want to go to Bowlby Library in Doncaster and join this conversation class on a Wednesday but remember this is the time of the class for every week until December, except the school half term. So let's have a look at a video that I took before class so that we could see the venue. So this is a lovely venue and remember that it's essential when you're thinking about entry level three and level one that you learn about discussion together so this is why we have the class seats ready for you and we have other activities that you can do to talk and discuss with each other whether you attend class in Bowlby library or not is up to you so children are not allowed in class no no children in class this is an adult class and where is it well it's at Bowlby Community Library and this is the address and if you need to know the postcode do make a note of that so what's the frequency of these classes well class will take place do you remember which day I said Wednesday so it will be every Wednesday from today all the way through to December except half term when it's half term for the children too and it's a very welcoming area so Bowlby Community Library as soon as you come in you can go to the desk and if you look to your right, you'll see me sitting there waiting to start your class. So well done if you reach this stage of the video. But now I want you to think about the purpose of this video. I said that we would look at five tips to improve your English conversation. And could you spot entry level three and level one vocabulary? So that's what we're going to look at now. Remember, when I was talking, that I used the word could. I said you could come to class. This is a word we use when we're talking about something that can happen. But you need to make it happen. So if you're not sure about the information in the video, you can go back over and have a look at what the class in Bowlby is all about. Or you can contact AFCL Doncaster so AFCL that's an acronym isn't it for adult family community learning and they will help you find other classes in the area if you're looking for English perhaps you want to do English functional skills but the five tips to improve our conversation firstly know the difference between formal and informal situations where you need to speak and listen to others secondly 
join a class. You really learn when you're with other people. And you know, if you've been a resident in Doncaster for a large number of years, you're welcome to come and join a class to discuss points with others because we'll be learning from you too. And equally, if you've been in Doncaster for three years or more, you're welcome to come and join that conversation class. So practice frequently. If you go to class, know the frequency of your classes. And for this class at Bowlby Library in Doncaster, you can start in the next couple of weeks. And you must then attend every week until December 2024. So number four, look up the classes in your area. So if you don't live in Doncaster, look up classes in your area and think about what do you want to learn. And then the fifth tip is if you want to do English exams, know which ones are best for you. And are you interested in English functional skills? Do you just want to meet with other people and talk? That's what English conversation is all about, isn't it? So if you live in Doncaster, we teach those classes as well. And if you are doing exams and you are working at entry level three and level one, did you spot the mistake in these five tips? Well, if I draw your attention to number three, look at the word practice. Remember, if you're using the word practice as a verb, it needs to have an S. So that word should be spelled P-R-A-C-T-I-S-E, practice frequently. Now, if we're talking about practice in terms of I'm going to a place, I'm going to English practice, then that would be the noun, which is that spelling there. So all of the time in improving your English, check out the words that use that are being used and think about, is that the correct spelling? Well done you, if you notice the difference between practice and practice. But in the whole of this video, did you spot the entry level three, level one vocabulary I used? Mm, let's have a look at those words. So these are the words that I used when I was talking to you in this video. Do make sure that if you don't know the meaning, look them up and be very careful if you're writing for English because some of these words sound the same as other words that mean something different. So allowed, are you allowed to do something? Not allowed, A-L-O-U-D, which means all about the information that you're given is out loud. So meet when you're talking about meeting, frequency, love that word. Maybe if you don't use it, think about ways you could fit that word into the way that you're developing your conversation and venue much nicer to say venue than place so the place where the class is the venue where the class is and although I used the word except when I said that the classes take place except over half term do know the difference between except and accept essential and noticeably so. I'm going to end with that word noticeably because did you notice? So the word noticeably comes from the root word notice to notice. So did you notice the key words there? Is it noticeably interesting to see that the words that I've looked at today and the tips that I've given, you're already doing. So all that's left for me to do is to say bye. Bye now.